been doing it. I've been doing it for a very, very long time at the highest level, so it's pretty easy. You know, as long as I get into the paint and create good go offense and create good shots, I'm doing my job. That's my job. That's my role, and I'll continue to do it. James Harden deserves his damn flowers this season for the way he has bounced back from the injuries and how he has beat the he's washed rumors. Let's not act like we forgot. This season, as the fulcrum of the Philadelphia 76ers, he is averaging 21 points, 10.7 assists, 6.1 rebounds, and the second highest three-point percentage of his career, a far cry from where he was almost two postseasons ago after he sustained his hamstring injury. In his new role on the Sixers, he is more of a facilitator than just a scoring threat and somehow messed around and won the assist title this year, making him the only player in, in NBA history to have three scoring titles and two assist titles under his belt. Very rarefied air. Beyond what he did yesterday against the Nets, hopping back into his Houston Harden days throughout the year, he's made the players around him better, most notably Joel Embiid, who is leading the league in points and is on his way to obtaining the MVP award. And the list goes on and on and on and on for the rest of his 76ers teammates. I could talk about Tyrese Maxey, his ascension. I could also also talk about George Niang, but we don't really have to do that. For a moment prior to the Ben trade, or he who shall not be named trade, I was scared that the Sixers would lose a ton of playmaking ability, um, but the beard shut me up in all the right ways. Check the stats. The Sixers have the number three offense in the league. So how has this happened? What has James been doing, been doing differently? Obviously, passing instead of scoring for the most part, his mentorship of the young guys, and him shooting the mid-range. Everything that the naysayers said that he couldn't do. Believe what you will, but this may be Harden's last crack at a championship, and up to this point, you cannot say that he hasn't done um, his part to get this joint done. Can you really blame him for wanting out of Houston the way their organization is ran? Word to John Wall. How about when he dropped Brooklyn and was called a quitter? Looks like KD and Kyrie ultimately ended up being on the same type time. Think what you want, but for me, the answer is no. James Harden is definitely one of the most disrespected superstars of all time, and I believe he is starting to get his payback, or at least getting his retribution. As a Sixers fan, it's been a dream come true and honestly a pleasure to have this living legend on my squad and given the opportunity to see him every single night of the week play basketball at the Wells Fargo Center. And though I may get annoyed with his contract media antics, I know that that is just what comes along with the territory. James Harden is bull without doubt, without a doubt. And no matter what happens moving forward into the playoffs and ultimately the offseason, whether he stays or leaves, he has made it back to the old vibes of who he once was and what people loved him for. And for that, he deserves his flowers from the NBA community. I still need that championship, though. Uh, stay even kill. There's going to be some good moments, some, some, some low moments. Uh, you lose a game, you win a game. Uh, stay, stay even kill, you know, and, and look at the bigger picture. 